it's a hard market for developers too. So, so developers have felt this in in where they've bought a site, gone to market, sold apartments, and in the period for them selling the apartments and locking away a builder, the builder's numbers moved from what their cost plan. So they've had to go back to their um, customers, purchases of units. I'm, I'm using Resi as an example, but. Um, and basically say, you need to fork out more money if you want to keep your deposit. So they've had a lot of difficult conversations too on their end. Um, everyone's feeling this. Um, I think, I think, our client, I think 80, 90% of our work is repeat business. So, um, our clients, um, are understanding of the issues and they know we're not gouging that we're just dealing with the market as it is. I think the biggest issue for them is, are their jobs still feasible? Which is basically to say, have what people are willing to pay for again, to use Resi as an example, has um, what people are willing to pay for a unit increased in line with the cost of construction increase? And if the answer is no, then unfortunately the job isn't feasible and then they've got to sell the site. Um, so I, I think their understanding of the issues and their understanding that it's not just us, the whole building market is dealing with this. Um, but yeah, there's difficult conversations because um, often it means that the job just doesn't stack up, which puts them in a a tough position. Yeah, they're exposed, aren't exactly, they? Exactly, yeah. They've got, so, the, they got the dirt. Yeah, exactly. And and again, this comes back to, you know, what what sort of development margin does a financier expect to fund a job? Because often they're being driven by their um, lending criteria. So if, you know, if they have a 20% gross development margin hurdle rate and our cost of construction rise has meant there's only 15% in it now, will a bank still fund that? And often the answer is no, they have quite strict um, rules and, you know, to go a level deeper, the big banks are regulated by APRA who have certain rules around how much risk exposure they have to property. Uh, so yeah, there's systemic changes happening at the moment, which, which doesn't happen immediately. Um, such a healthy conversation to have. Yeah, yeah it, it yeah, is. One of the, one of the benefits of COVID, I think, or all the consequences of COVID mm. is that finally we're having yeah, you know, respectful conversations, just like you've framed that whole thing in relation to the uh, developers got a tough too. Sure. Um, but it's just such so important that everyone understands the position of the other. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, the, the finances, the banks do have to sort of appreciate to understand the, the 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 challenges that the developers are under. But then everyone's got to understand the banks are operating under a very strict regime in terms of APRA requirements. Yeah, yeah, they are. Risk they are, and I think as a nation, we benefited throughout the financial crisis that our banks were quite well regulated, and that they didn't have as much systemic risk as in the US, where a lot of big banks fell over on the back of um, subprime mortgages. So, you know, we're, we're a participant in a big economic system, and and I try not to be too um, have yeah, try not to have the blinkers on and just complain about our problems because everyone's dealing with things in their own in their own way, but. Um, I think yeah, if we if we're going to keep building housing supply, and you know, um, uh, I think yeah, we're, we're both millennial generation or Gen Z border millennial. If if there's going to be enough housing supply for us to be able to, or for our generation to be able to afford houses, um, we've got to do something a little bit different as far as how because at the moment there's just a lot of jobs that just aren't going ahead because, um. Yeah, because they're just not feasible. And and again, this, this leads back to governments getting more involved now with social housing. Mm -hmm.